show them that and it just not to be like uh do what i do but it was just like don't give up but uh, even though you might compare yourself to like five or, i guess she was seven at that time maybe just turned eight but she was seven i think she was seven at that time it's like just because i i can draw like i draw um and i guess like you can protect that you know, get better at it because I, that's what i that's where i started it other interests like the music production, if anybody who knows me knows what I'm doing. I said I always wrote lyrics, but never took it seriously. Sometimes I had copy books full of lyrics and didn't learn a single one. And it was funny to me because like in high school, I was sitting there with a board. I knew rap, but I never knew the time to learn these things. So I'm sitting there, I'm sitting on the couch and, and you know, and he was sitting on the school in front of me for whatever reason. It's not like he was performing because he was standing on the rap, but he was actually learning with his uh, raps. I mean, he got out of the script without like, all right. Uh, and like I said, it probably wasn't until a couple of years ago where like I never took it serious. Not even then, like I could write a song in like five minutes. Like I'm going to say it was the best song. I did it just on a two-bar shit, but I want to fuck But I do, I can write my own lyrics, and it's like, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm not Tupac, I'm not Jay-Z, I'm not Big, but like, I could write something, but I just don't take it seriously. So I was like, like I rap, especially not at 40 years old. And with beat shit, like, you see, I put beats on here, but they like, my first attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt. And I look at it like I never influenced those things in part, even though know, it was always a plan for me to have like at the studio when I got to this phase. Like I said, even with the studio, it was a God sent blessing that I landed that uh paid internship not only there because like you know, like trying to do internships and work for you hours and support yourself and live by yourself. It's like all right, because got an internship sometimes it might cut into <coughs> the the <coughs> excuse me primary employment and you gotta work around it and that might cut down income. Luckily it didn't I was working seven days a week and then the woman hit but you know fortunately I had both incomes and I was working on the weekends or the main source of income and then I was doing my weekend business. Okay. So uh I was able to get a lot of what I needed for the studio, like just through the paid internship and uh, 
since I've dropped, and I was paying the bills like too long. Even, like I always say, even before the internship, I was living here alone paying the bills. And that was a bachelor's salary with a certification of substance abuse. But, um, so with all that said, like all these interests, and it's more interests, like even with comedy, like on part of my application, I would talk talk about like when she, my daughter was, I think it was when she was like seven or eight. I think when she was five, I think it was when she was seven or eight. And she's hit me with other jokes, but like, and showed the creativity and showed that she was able to formulate her own joke. Even though it was baseball, I was watching, like I was just happy to tell the story and like Domino's was mentioned to me. And it was something about Domino's uh, text at the get um, <clears throat> a delivery. And the, during the commercial, they were talking about all you got to do is like, text the emoji to Domino's and then now that'll order your pizza or something, something like that. And they were talking about the kids, how the kids were like, oh, I text my mom on this week and we got a pizza. I text my mom and she said, we got pizza this weekend. I text my mom and she said, we got a uh, pizza tomorrow night. And then at the end of the, the uh, commercial, my daughter was sitting right over there and I'm sitting on the couch and I was like, by the phone. And she just sits there and it's a real dry humor. And like her facial expression, her delivery, her timing, her aspect, you know, her basically facial expression. Like she even put a like a comedic pause in there. And she was like, I text my mom if we could order a pizza. And all she said was, no. And I don't know, it was just the delivery and like it was like just at eight years old, you had total package in that comedic sense. Like, yeah, you know I mean, like, I don't know. I know, like I said, well, right, so the sense of humor is there. I know I have a wild sense of humor, but I know for her. So to me, that's another art form, or another form of expression. And like I said, like, you know, she seemed like she's more like in painting. Like when she usually gets with me, we do more painting. You know, I'm not a painter. We do more painting, uh, like stuff than the like drawing. Like drawing is always been my thing. Like we do more painting than that. And like I was saying in the other video, it's like even as an uh, artist, like it's hard for me to say draw what you see because I can draw what my what I see. I tried that with her, it didn't look like anything. And I'm not trying to be smart because she was only like seven at the time. So again, I would discourage her my way of encouraging in there is one, because like I always say, the people that use the circles and the lines and all that, I never did that. I always signed up for art class, but I was always told it was full. <clears throat> and at a young age, being able to do certain things or, or having certain interests, because like, I'm 40. And even though I got the uh, credentials to continue my career, and hopefully I'll continue my career full time at some point, um, she's always 14 now. And I know she's told me she's continued to write songs, even though I might not have heard them or whatever. And that's what I was saying. I was in jail. She was sending me uh, songs. And she was on like five, six, and then turned seven. And right before I came home, she was on seven and a half. And then. So, like, I nah, mean, you hope, I don't know, whatever she wants to do. And that's why I was saying, like, when we're in this world and certain things, it's like, all right, like, discovery of talent. Like you, and she's smart. Like I said in other videos, like she's smart, so she can go different direction. But uh, I, I always encourage it. Like, and uh, I started the conversation one because I was talking. About it. But anyway, uh, I was saying how, like you know, with the, even though it might not be a Swiss beats or, or Timbo or something like that, that, and this is to everybody might still find a niche and something that you are passionate about, like what I've been doing and trying to do, not, not just with therapy, but with everything else. Like, I feel like I've found my main <clears throat> bread, where my bread is buttered and wherever, whatever else I invest in, not saying I wish failure, but that's like, you know, it's, it's all passion plays, but like, you know, we got, we got the adult profession. But even at that level, it's like, you know, 
you can make beats, make beats, put them on um, different apps and stuff. And I, I thought of that probably before they had them, but I never, I'm not a computer boy, so I can do it. Like, I don't know computer boys, but like, marketplace for beats or whatever. And they got them now. I know at the time they got them. They got them you, know, you can buy the beats for 50 cents for 50,000. I don't know how many 50,000 beats that sold, but you got them. Uh, like I said, you can make their own samples. They can give them more than you can um, And not just that, it's like whether you're a band geek, like, you know, you consider yourself a band, you can help the band. How much of them to get you in the zone? Get them to make sense. Like, that's how you get the trail when you find it. Okay, that you might not be doing it right. And even if you don't make it to a trail, uh, and then, like I was saying, I was upstairs while I was cooking, I was thinking about, like, Mary J, and uh, people that started in church singing and stuff like that. Went over to R&B or pop or whatever, but like you know, even in the church, some churches they got the band. And, and I was joking to myself because it was like you know, I, I'm a, I love the music, I love the um quartet, but I, I'm more excited. I don't want to say more excited, but I can't wait to get to the word. You know, in a good church where you know that the world being climbed at the moon first. But anyway, like you know. Pursue your passions, and I was saying, like, uh, even for every fifty thousand, for every Jay Z, there might be five hundred million rappers that you know from the neighborhood. You get what I'm saying? And that can be even another uh, another podcast because for me, it's like you know, some people consider Eminem greatest rapper of all time, but you know, my whole thing is like. My whole thing. Like, I, I like Eminem. I never, I'm not listening to Eminem, but like, there's a lot of rappers around. And I'm not saying it's better. They might like, think he's better. I don't know, but it's still a podcast. And then, don't give me a chance. But um, I'm just saying, every studio, I, that's why I would talk about the studio phone, art phone. Got on the phone and I told him, like, all right, how much for studio time? Just because at this point, I'm not really trying to pursue my interest in music making, even though I might try to affiliate with a studio or once the art studio is up and running, bam. But it's like, with my daughter being so interested, like, I will take her there when it becomes available. I'm not broke. Lights going first, so um, it's like you know, take her to the studio, introduce her to the studio environment, even if we just in a private session in that room. You know? Well, coming up on this, the engineer, like I call the studio, like all right, so forty-five dollars for an hour because two hour block, or it's, yeah, it's two hour blocks of the week minimum, so that's like like uh, dollars for two hours and. It, Ask. So does it come with an engineer? Because that's the person that can make the beat for you while you're doing it. And even if we in there for two hours just talking to the engineer, like, you know, that's an engineer for sure. You got a group. Um, and then there's other things. You can just work for it. I don't know. I don't know. But nature versus nature, I don't know. I just don't. 